Are well, you guys good boys? Two good boys, my brave boys. Love you guys. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to today's video. My name is Chloe, C. Shoddy Hill, and I'm so happy that you decided to join me and you wanted to hear about me spending a ridiculous amount of money for absolutely no reason. And by absolutely no reason, I don't mean that. I just mean nothing was wrong. So some of you might have clicked on the video thinking maybe one of my pets was sick or something like that. That's not the case, everyone is okay. This was just our yearly exam, basically. So Matilda, my kitten, where is she? This, this thing, this little monster, she's still getting her vaccines. So she, she has one more round left after today. So I had to take her in to get some shots, you know, basic stuff. And then for the dogs, they just had to have their yearly vaccines and, you know, check up. Copper had a little, rash underneath one of his armpits so i wanted the vet to look at that and make sure it wasn't serious it really doesn't bother me that i spent that much money today it's kind of inevitable when you own pets so i just wanted to give you all an idea of the kind of money you're going to spend if you do get pets i guess so at the end of this video i am going to break down the cost and go over all the procedures and all that stuff and this is also going to be a little interesting because as you may be aware, <laughs> there is a pandemic going on <laughs> in all parts of the world, but where I live in Florida, it's especially bad. So the vet hasn't been allowing people inside for months. And I was kind of trying to put this off, waiting until I could go inside because Copper has really bad anxiety. Copper is my basset hound. You'll see him in one moment. Mm. That's him. I was really trying to wait until I could go in there with them, but then I realized it's not gonna happen anytime soon, and I really just... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I really just had to get this taken care of, so we had to do it today. I had to go to two separate appointments. I took Matilda in the morning, and then I took the dogs in the afternoon. So this is that. I hope you enjoy. Okay, Matilda. Get in there. Get in there. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. She hates it. <laughs> so I know I, it might not make sense to you that I'm doing two trips, but I just feel like Matilda's a baby and she just, I just don't want to freak her out any more than she needs to be freaked out. So that's why I'm taking her first. <sighs> yeah. Okay, let's go. All right, so I'm here now with Matilda. We made it to the vets. I just called them and let them know we're here. So they're gonna come out and take her and give her her shots. And then the vet calls me and he tells me what's going on and if I'm doing a good job or not. And that's basically that. It's just basically me sitting in the car waiting the whole time. I don't even have time to really become anxious about what Matilda's going through because I don't even have to see it at all. Out of sight, out of mind, am I right? It's funny, I'm just seeing all these dogs like going into the vet with these strangers and I just don't understand how Copper's gonna do that. He's just not, he's just not gonna do that. He's just not. I know my son, he's just not. Might as well update you on my wrist as well. It's feeling better, it's definitely improving. I'm not wearing the brace anymore. I'm letting it, you know, flop around and stuff. I'm just trying really hard to be mindful about what I'm using my hands for. That sounds weird. That's the reason why I haven't been as responsive in the comments as I usually am. Because I'm still trying to recover and give my wrist a break. I don't want it to get any worse because the last time this happened to me, I could not use my right hand for over two weeks. I still am reading all of your comments and I still really appreciate all of your nice comments. So thank you and thank you to everyone who told me to get better. I appreciate that very much. Also, in addition to my wrist acting up, I also have this thing <laughs> called hypothyroidism. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you have it. And it just means that my body's thyroid hates me. It means my thyroid hates me and it doesn't want me to feel good or function properly. So I have Hashimoto's thyroid disease, which I guess is like an autoimmune disease, I guess. And <laughs> your thyroid like controls everything, basically. <laughs> Not everything, but it controls like 
I don't know, maybe your hormones or something, something like that. I should know this. I should know this. I've been dealing with this for almost 20 years. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was six years old. There have been several times in my life when I just kind of stupidly let it get worse. And I, for some reason, like don't realize what's happening until it's too late. And then I'm having this crisis and I'm exhausted and I like can't get through the day or do anything. And I get really depressed and unhappy. And I'm like, what's wrong with me? Why is this happening to me? And in reality, it's just, I'm not taking enough thyroid medication because since it is an autoimmune thing, it continues to get worse. So that means I need to change my dose. I need to change my dose every couple months. And I've been on the same dose for a long time. And that's why I was feeling like crap. Yeah. It was such a silly goose for not knowing. But yeah, that, that should be taken care of and I should feel better real soon. Thanks for bearing with me. Yeah, that's all the updates for me in my personal life. That's all my personal life. You okay? Yeah. They loved you. They didn't want to give you back, they said. They said you were so sweet. You're a good girl, Matilda. We'll be home soon. And you'll be free. But yeah, the vet said she looked great. She's really cute and she's really sweet. I guess she was a good girl in there. God knows what she did. So yeah, that's done. The total was $92 for the vaccines. One down, two to go. Okay, we're home. Mm. Come on out, copy. Give her some space. Mm. Come on out, baby. Mm. Come on out. Mm. Matilda, mm. come on. Yay, we're home. You were such a good girl. Your turn next, cop. Okay, so now I have to get stool samples for the dogs before I go back. So hopefully they're gonna take a dump. Sorry, that's gross. I won't show you the poop or anything. Sorry. I don't know, I mean, that's what's happening. I just, I don't wanna sugarcoat it. This poop goes in here. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. Go buddy. Go buddy, Ollie. Go buddy. Okay, now it's time to take the dogs to the vet, and guess what? I found someone to come with me. It's Sabrina, Sabron James, Sabrine. That's me. <laughs> she did not want to come with me, but I manipulated. Oh, I manipulated her into coming with me, so. Sorry, running a little late as usual, but I have Copy here. Copy, say what's up. Copy, say what's up. Copper. And Ollie's somewhere back there. Oliver! They think they're going somewhere pleasant, so I feel bad. They think they're going somewhere like that they want to be. Hi. Hi to all the followers. <laughs> uh, I finally got her in another video. Yeah, I'm not the best on camera, but... Can we give someone a special shout out? Can we shout out my friend Daniel? Oh, love you, Daniel. Yeah, we love you, Daniel. Hope wow. you know how much you brighten our lives. Yeah, she reads your comments to me, and they're just the douchiest things I've ever read. Sometimes they make me cry <laughs> in a good way. Yeah, she has really cried from them. So, almost didn't get these little guys to poop. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, they finally pooped. Poppy finally pulled through and pooped. He's slobbering everywhere. Taking my dogs to the vet and copper. I just have this like horrible image of sorry. Copper. I just have this horrible image in my mind of freaking copper breaking free of his leash and running into the street and getting hit by a car. Oh my god, Chloe! Why do you do that? Look how loose his little leash is. All you have to do is tighten it. Oh, I don't want to suffocate him. He's an independent he dog. Yeah. Poppy's not too tight. No, that's not too tight. He's a dog. No, it's hard to tell with his neck flap. Yeah, he's got flab. That's it. <laughs> you can breathe, right? <laughs> if he can drool, he can breathe. <laughs> I just feel like my YouTube career is like over. Why do you feel that way? I just feel like you don't have anything to offer anymore. I think that's untrue. My last video only got like 300 views. It's kind of pathetic. No, it's not. How many subscribers do you have? Like 13,000? No, wow. 1,000. <laughs> 1,300. 
let me know if you guys want me to make a video about my mental health deteriorating. <laughs> For real, let no. me know. I think everyone's mental health is deteriorating. Yeah, it's gonna be hashtag relatable. Oh, that smells good. <laughs> I feel so bad. Copper's like happy. He thinks we're going somewhere fun. Do you really think that though? It's raining. They're gonna have to get Copper in the rain. This is gonna be bad. Copper's not, Copper's not gonna be down for this. Okay, so we made it. We're here again. I called them and I said, maybe you should bring two people out for Copper. I said he might be a little difficult. He doesn't seem to care right now. I don't know if they're gonna go in together and they'll do one and then the other one. Where's the Holly guy? Hey Holly. He never rides in the back seat, poor guy. So yeah, we just gotta wait until they come get him. I gotta give him the poop. Okay. <laughs> okay. He saw a dog come out. He's gone. He's gone. They've been in there for a while now, and I'm just worried. I haven't heard anything. Didn't they say like 15 minutes? How long has it been? I don't know. It's been like 40 minutes. No. Mm -hmm. Since they were taking it there. Yeah, they took him. She didn't do her job and film it, so we didn't get to see any of that. Sorry. <gasps> she didn't tell me to film that. I didn't. It was stressful. He did not want to go. So today we're doing all the things. I just got off the phone with the vet and he said they look really good. I'm also getting both of them the, what is it? What do you say, pro heart? Shot. The, it's like a heartworm prevention shot and it lasts an entire year instead of having to give them the little chews once a month that I was doing. So that should be better. And yeah, they're gonna be up to date on other shots. I'm gonna talk about getting Copper's teeth clean here in a couple weeks. And I just am waiting for them to call me and tell me how much, just tell me what the damage is. I can't wait to find out how much money I'm gonna spend today. I just can't wait. All that matters is that all the babies are healthy and happy. That's all I care about. Money is nothing when it comes to health for your loved ones, even your furry loved ones. That was beautiful. <laughs> I see my boys. They look happy that they just sucked me dry. <laughs> you guys, you guys. You freaking guys are not gonna believe how much money I spent. Well, I guess you already know because it was in the title, but holy crap. It's worth it. <laughs> totally worth it. <laughs> the total for, for the dogs is $941. <laughs> but they got a lot done and they needed it all, so. They're fine. You're fine, I heard you were not even bad, Copy. And you got your nails trimmed. Hey, Ollie, you were sweet. You'd be in your sweet self. Yeah, good boys. Okay, we'll go over everything at home. Thanks for watching that mess of a video. This is the last, this is the last thing we're gonna do. One moment, please. So yes, this is the last thing we're gonna do is. <laughs> it's did the same exact thing again, Oliver, Oliver. Okay, we're gonna try to go over the receipt. She's getting so big. Do you guys remember how small she was when I got her? You grow up so fast. So, Copper got the canine annual package, which was $205. And it looks like that included the examination fee, Bordetella, the biohazard waste disposal service. He had to get a heartworm test before he could get the uh, heartworm injection, the heartworm prevention thing. It's a shot, they have a shot now, so. It might be easier for you to give them a shot once a year than the chews every month, look into it, I don't know. <sighs> they did the fecal and parasite thing, distemper, parvo, lepto. He got his rabies vaccination updated and he got his toenails trimmed. And then he got the pro heart injection for $135 and his rash um, according to the vet, the rash seemed like an allergy. So he said the topical treatment I was doing really wasn't gonna 
change anything. So he gave me a medication for that to try called Apoquil and that was $102.82. For Oliver, he got the same thing, like the Canon annual package. He got everything that Copper did minus the Apoquil. So he got his rabies, he got the Pro Heart. His was actually cheaper. His was only $93.24. And then his rabies vaccination and the distemper were 45 each. And then here they have their rabies vaccination certificates. And that's that. I really was expecting to spend a lot of money, but I was thinking closer to 600 than $1,000. I guess it was more like 500 each for the dogs, so. That's that. I mean, I don't, I don't know how you feel about $1,000. To you, it might be a lot of money or it might not be that much money. To me, trust me, $1,000 is a lot of money. But like I was saying earlier, the health of my pets is way more important than any money. And I would gladly spend it to have the peace of mind to know that, that they're safe and they're healthy and everything is as it should be. So we're gonna give Copper his medicine, make sure that rash gets taken care of. And until next time, we gotta spend $1,000 at the vet. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I so appreciate you for watching. <laughs> I so appreciate you for watching my videos and just being kind to me. It means so much. I just hope you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Take care and I'm just going to keep saying it until, until I feel better because I need to hear it. Just hang in there. Just keep on keeping on and it's going to be okay. And you're going to have bad days and you're going to have good days, but I hope this is a good day. I hope my adorable pets brought at least a smile to your face and some joy into your heart because <laughs> that's what they do for me. All right, I love you so much. You're beautiful. Never change. Bye.